Is your water utility looking to make that jump into the world of AMI fixed networks? Are you confused about all the technology choices available to you from traditional data collector based systems to mesh systems and now cellular technology? Well, in this video, I'm going to review four key reasons why cellular might just be the right technology choice for you. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the Smart Water Show, brought to you by Badger Meter. I'm your host, Maurice Blackwell, and this is the show where we talk about your day-to-day -day water utility problems and then find the right solution for you. Traditional data collector-based fixed networks have been around since about 1996 for water utilities. They've come a long way in the last decade, going from daily information to hourly information and now even 15-minute interval information. These systems provide great efficiency gains from leak detection to customer service to meter reading. However, the complexity and cost of traditional data collector-based fixed networks have held back some utilities from making that jump to the next level of technology. Cellular solutions have really become a true viable solution for utility, just simplifying the whole deployment approach. With a cellular system, I'm deploying endpoints that speak directly to the existing cellular network. I sort of unburden the system from the complexity that it is the data collector. Over my 26 years in the water utility industry, I have spoken with hundreds of utilities that are looking to justify making that next technology step. I'm going to share with you some of the stories that I've heard from utilities over the past five to six years that have made the choice to move towards a cellular technology versus a traditional data collector based system. I think once you hear some of these stories and understand why these technology decisions were made, you and your utility are going to be better equipped to figure out what the right technology fixed network is for your water utility. And as an added bonus at the end, I'm going to share with you a link where you can download a white paper that really goes into an expansive detail of the things that we're going to talk about here today. Point number one, simplicity. Like with anything in life, there's an easy way and there's a hard way. Deploying a cellular system is like sort of hitting the easy button. Another way that it could be said is, I can have 20 endpoints this morning that I wanted to deploy on 20 important accounts. I could deploy those in the morning, and then this afternoon, I could be getting in the valuable metering data for those accounts. It's just that simple. Sometimes people compare a sailor deployment to even a mobile deployment, but I think it's even easier than that. Because with a mobile deployment, someone's got to load the route, someone has got to load up the equipment and put it in the vehicle and go out and read. With a sailor type deployment, I don't have to worry about any of those things. It is the simple approach. Point number two, cost savings. When you're doing the analysis of the cost savings of a system, you need to truly look at the 20 year life cycle of a traditional data collector based system. Part of that equation is the installation, purchasing, maintaining and managing that system over the full 20 year life cycle of the system. There are things that come into play, either repairing those things along the way and replacing them. Let's talk about repairing them. Most utilities today probably do not have the personnel within the utility to truly take that job on. Do you have someone within your utility that can climb your water tower or climb a radio tower to do a repair of those data collectors? Do you have someone within your utility that has the RF knowledge that you need in order to troubleshoot issues that may be going on? Or are you going to be beholden to a contractor to take care of those things for you? The second part of that is the replacement. You also have to put in that 20 year life cycle, the replacement of the data collectors. The data collectors don't last the full 20 year life cycle of the system. Most manufacturers will tell you that you need to replace the data collectors once, if not twice, over the 20 year life cycle of the system. So when you take that into account, it can be quite costly over that 20 year life cycle to maintain that network yourself. Point number three, flexibility. 
If you are a manual or a mobile read system today, there's three scenarios where I see that you can utilize the cellular technology. One would be for your largest accounts. Maybe you want to get more information on those large accounts to see if those meters have stopped, to be able to, to, to monitor those meters, or even supply that information to those end customers. Secondarily, there may be accounts that are on the outskirts of your service territory, maybe accounts that you've annexed in that takes you a long time to drive to. Those are accounts that you can deploy the cellular technology and then not have to get to. Lastly, I see utilities that are looking to deploy technologies that, are, that have sensors built into them, like meters that have pressure or temperature built in, or maybe flow restriction valves built in. Deploying the cellular technology, you're able to deploy those particular types of sensors or valves within your service territory wherever you want to deploy them and still have that level of control. Lastly, I see utilities that have traditional data collector-based fixed networks utilizing cellular technology in a couple of ways. Uh, one utility was a very large utility here in the United States had deployed a traditional data collector-based system. I ran into this individual at a particular trade show and she came up to me, she was very excited. She said, hey, I, I love your, your cellular technology. And I says, really, I thought you had deployed you know, a different type of network. She says, we did, but we are a wholesaler that sells water to utilities that are hundreds of miles away from our city. And there was no way we were going to be able to deploy that type of technology for those wholesale accounts. So we chose to use the cellular technology and it was very simple to do. Point number four, service level. There are two ways to purchase a fixed network. The first one is a supply and install, where you, the utility, are responsible for purchasing, installing, maintaining that system for the life of the fixed network. The problem is most utilities don't have the expertise in-house to do those things. One, to do the installation. Normally, you're hiring a contractor to do that. Two, someone there within your utility to make the repairs that are needed throughout the life of the system. The last part of that is changing that system out. As we talked about earlier, most fixed networks don't last for a period of 20 years. If the data collectors need to be replaced, you, the utility, are going to be responsible for doing that. The second way to purchase a fixed network is under a network as a service contract. What this means is the manufacturer is now responsible for installing, maintaining, and managing that fixed network for the life of the system. It's one less thing that you need to worry about. The beauty of a sailor deployment is you have the major telecommunication companies now responsible, basically working for you to keep that network up and running. This is probably the safest way to buy a fixed network, and you can buy a traditional data collector-based system this way or a cellular system this way. But this is what I recommend for most of my customers. If you'd like to delve into this topic even more, I've put together a free white paper that you can download by going to badgermeter.com forward slash smartwatershow and search for episode one. This white paper goes over the four points that we talked about here today, as well as a few bonus points. If you have any questions about today's topic, feel free to ask a question in the comment section below. I'd be happy to provide you with an answer. Or if you'd rather send a private message or have any questions related to metering or meter reading systems, be sure to connect with me on LinkedIn. If you found this content valuable, be sure to click the like button. Stay tuned for next week's episode where we would discuss how to get your customers to stop calling about their high water bill and take ownership and responsibility for their usage. We'd like to thank you for watching this video and we'll catch you next time on the Smart Water Show.